we have a pendulum whose center of mass is above the point of suspension so let's say this is the point of suspension center of mass is above it so it is just let loose from the top so it will go down and it will cross the mean position with angular velocity omega dash so if this happens we need to find what will be the period of small oscillations so let's say the torque about the point o if you displace it by an angle, small angle theta so that will be mg sin theta into xcm so we don't know what is the value of xcm but it will be of this form and for a small angle this can be written as mg xcm theta so this is the torsion coefficient for the shm because torque is proportional to theta let's keep this in mind because when we want to calculate time period we need the value of c now from what is given the potential change in potential energy is equal to gain in kinetic energy so mg into 2 xcm is equal to half i o omega dash square so this gives the value of i o upon mg xcm to be this now why we are keeping this together because if you remember time period is 2 pi root i o by c and we have seen c is this and i o is this so this ratio we have found from here so in this physical pendulum time period comes to be 2 pi root 4 by omega dash square that is 4 pi by omega dash so this omega dash is the actual angular velocity of this body when it crosses this is not the oscillation frequency so if you want to know what is the oscillation frequency you can just equate this to 2 pi by omega and you will see omega comes to be omega dash by 2 that will be the oscillation frequency anyway all right